We continue our breakdown of the 2015 NFL Draft here at SeniorBowl.com along with Phil Savage, the Executive Director of the Reese's Senior Bowl. We had a great second round, 15 players, and we followed that in the third round with 15 more players selected from our yeah, game. 15 more players and it didn't take long. The first pick of the third round was Dijon Smith, our highest selection in this round. He goes to the Indianapolis Colts. And Dijon Smith, a corner from Florida Atlantic, FAU, a former Owl. It's a player that as his junior year had seven interceptions. Teams sort of stayed away from him this year, so that number went down. But I thought when I went back and watched the practice tapes from our game that he quietly had the best week of all the corners. He just has a, a real instinctive nature, excellent feel for coverage. I think he'll get on the field quite early for the Colts this year in 2015. Who got the biggest bump out of coming to the Reese's Senior Bowl? Well, I thought David Johnson, the running back from Northern Iowa. He was one of my favorite players down here in terms of just overall personality off the field and then on the field production. Of course, in the game, he scored a 19-yard touchdown. He has the ability to catch passes because he was a former wide receiver coming out of high school. Three-time 1,000-yard rusher for Northern Iowa, and he's a big back, 6'1", 224 pounds. The Arizona Cardinals have been in the market for a running back throughout the entire offseason. I thought they grabbed a good one with David Johnson. You think he can make a pretty immediate impact? I think he can help them right away because Andre Ellington will probably be now more of a, a a role-playing third down type of back. Of course, he was here at the Reese's Senior Bowl a couple years ago. But again, David Johnson's got the versatility to be a first down runner or a third down receiver. So I think they'll do it by committee in Arizona. A lot year. of teams seem to be doing that this way. Uh, now, if he's not your guy that's going to provide the most immediate help, who is out of that third round group? Well, as far as the, the most immediate help, I, I love the pick of Clive Walford, the tight end from the University of Miami. Goes to the Oakland Raiders. And uh, Raiders have their, their greatest asset right now is arguably quarterback Derek Carr, who played here last year. They draft Amari Cooper from Alabama in the first round, and then they turn around in the third round and take Clive Walford, former outstanding AAU basketball player, a really nice receiving threat for the Oakland Raiders. They've helped Derek Carr immensely with the drafting of Cooper and Walford. I'm anxious to see how well he plays in, tw in 2015. Well, those basketball players coming out of Miami tend to be pretty good tight ends. What's that kid's name up in Seattle now? I can't remember his name. Uh, well, let's James talk. Graham, I think. Oh, yeah, J yes, James Graham the uh, third. So there's, there, who's going to provide, who's your biggest value pick, I guess, out of that third round? Everyone's looking for value these days. Well, our practice award winner, the guy that showed the most in terms of gaining the most momentum back in January was Carl Davis, the defensive yeah. tackle from Iowa. And there, were talk, there was talk coming out of the end of January that he might go in the first round. He showed up some in the bottom of first rounds in these mock drafts. The Baltimore Ravens, they get him in the third round. Yeah. 6'4", 321 pounds. I think he'll mix in nicely with Timmy Jernigan, Brandon Williams. They have turned over their defensive line with some youthful, youthful defenders. I'm anxious to see what Carl Davis can do in the future, but what a value to get this kind of height, weight, speed prospect in the third round. All right, and your spotlight pick, which is just one of those draft picks, you're like, hmm, that's different or interesting. Well, the quarterback that seemed to be forecast the most to the New Orleans Saints was Bryce Petty from Baylor. It ended up being Garrett Grayson, the quarterback from Colorado State. And there were a lot of analysts out there that liked him as the third best quarterback in this draft. He played for CSU Rams, former head coach Jim McElwain. So there were some elements of a pro style system in their scheme. And when you really think about it, the instinctive nature of his game, the fact that he's not overly big, he doesn't have an overly strong arm. So Garrett will get a chance to go there, learn from one of the best in Sean Payton, and see how he develops over the next few years. And he'll get to learn from Drew Brees, who I'm sure you know will be very helpful. He's a good guy, and uh, he's got a few more years left in the Big Easy. So that's your third round. We've got a few more rounds to go. We'll be breaking down the fourth round next here at SeniorBowl.com.